So anyway, we're going to be checking out Pointless Hub's Battleship, the blockbuster attempt that sunk itself. And this was requested by Emperor Eagle, and he asked me specifically to check this out because I used to be in the Navy. So he wanted me to check this out and determine exactly how... <laughs> yeah, turn your brain off and, and, and just enjoy content, apparently. That's the way it was supposed to go. Uh, with this but um it made my head pound uh anyhow here we go the blockbuster attempt that sunk itself by pointless up and jason what holt jason holt don't yes. you have holt doesn't sound jewish uh well my dad's jewish okay. my dad is too you don't have to join the israeli army you do well how, when are you going to join um in the 2000s, what? Hasbro decided to take their wide range of IPs and adapt them for- Is this the guy, same guy that does Alternate History Hub? For the big screen. Their first attempt with Transformers was a massive success. <laughs> and spawned a franchise that would crash and burn horrendously, yes. killing millions of people. Their second <laughs> was G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra, which sure was a movie. After two absolute hits, Hasbro was sitting around and thought, you know what kids find really cool? Battleship. Battleship! Oh, you my battleship! We really gotta milk that current hot trend of battleship. Yes. Then another executive said, that's a great idea. And you know what I think when I imagine a battleship adaptation? Aliens? Aliens. Yes. Both of these executives were charged by the Geneva Convention the following year, <laughs> but it was too late. Battleship the movie was greenlit and debuted in theaters in 2012. Mahalo, mother. The end result was a film. Just a whole lot of no. Film that combined every overuse trope and yes. director style at the time. A trend I've noticed with a few of my videos is that I tend to give a piece of media that isn't perfect, you know, some benefit of the doubt. Right. Battleship is fascinating to me in just how irredeemable it kind of is. Popping <laughs> right now. Wait, what's going on? Why? The island's under attack. Attacked by who? I don't know. People are using the word alien. Aliens? It can't be that bad, right? It is. First, if you like this movie, it is that's really that bad. Fine. Uh, just probably genuinely rewatch it before giving me anything in the comments. Second, if you say it has fun moments, yeah, you're right. It does. It's just this scene. And that's it. Ugh. So let's briefly, and I mean briefly, talk about what happens in the other 90% of this film. Brace yourself, okay? Because... I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him go, I'm gonna let him go, I'm gonna let him go, I'm gonna let him explain it, and then if he doesn't cover it, which I'm pretty sure he's going to, I'm going to. You know, if, if you attack uh, Iran now, they're gonna fight you back, right? There's gonna be blood. Would you rather take that now or let them get a nuclear bomb? It's the most serious issue facing our planet today. Well, more, I I... More, more so than the movie Battleship, which you know, I'm very excited to have directed. And I love Rihanna, she's a great actress. Yeah, let's the Battleship go. movie begins with an absolute trip through time and space. Right. Scientists talk about shooting a laser into space to talk to aliens. Hard cut to two guys hanging out in a bar. Right. One guy called Hopper, Hopper is a bit of a loser. If he looks familiar, Sam. it's because Hopper is played by the guy that was John Carter once and never in anything else. His brother is a captain <laughs> of a Navy ship, and he wants Hopper to pick his life up. A new direction. A game change. You're joining me in the Navy. Hopper responds to this by hitting on a girl, breaking into a convenience store right. for her, and getting tased by the cops. <laughs> Turns out that girl Hopper tried to get with was the Admiral's daughter. Lovely. And he probably embarrassed his brother in the Navy's eyes. He did. So what's the solution to all of this? Have Hopper join the Navy, of course. An undisclosed amount of years have passed, and Hopper has gone from literal dead weight to a weapon. Sorry about that. Message from the hospital or had to go. Here we go. Back to this.
an officer on a naval destroyer. Oh, and he's also dating the Admiral's daughter. This anyway, is the Japanese Navy's in town and both countries are having war games. It's meant to be a time of friendly cooperation and learning experience for everyone involved. Uh -huh. Hopper, though, really hates that one Japanese captain and they get into a fist fight. Right. Oh, what the... Everyone gives him the typical speech that he's got talent, but he's just lazy. Yes. You're a very smart individual with very weak character, leadership, and decision-making skills. You're a loose cannon, meow meow, fuzzy face. <laughs> You've seen this before. Yes. Well, I wonder if there will be some extraordinary situation from which he can prove his worth. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. An extraordinary situation from which he can prove his worth. Hooray. You see, this whole time, aliens have been following the signal established earlier and head directly to beat up this one nerd, fracturing <laughs> one ship and sending it spiraling directly into Hong Kong. Yep. Lovely. Hopper boops the giant ship and accidentally sets off a Simpsons movie-style dome that encompasses all of Hawaii. Yes. Coincidentally, sealing off the islands from the entire US Navy. You know, except for our main characters, of course, because movie has to happen. All communication is dead, radar doesn't work, the only way any ship can operate is by firing and viewing manually. Right. Turns out the aliens only react when weapons are aimed at them, or they only attack weapons, and not humans, the movie kind of flip-flops on which it's supposed to be. But getting back to the story, the aliens blow up two allied ships, including Hopper's brother, ah! leaving him the reluctant yep. hero. But like, super reluctant. Like, he's actually incredibly useless. Yes, so many other characters actually do a lot more in the plot than Hopper. His rival Japanese friend figures out how to use the buoys in the ocean to create the actual battleship game and take out three ships. This is not inaccurate. This actually occurred. His girlfriend does more. The aliens are defeated and blown up. Their shield goes down and they face the full force of a trillion dollar military budget. Mm. The end. Yay. Okay, let's talk about the problems. Yeah, there, there's many of them. <laughs> I find this movie fascinating because the only way I can truly describe it is if you took elements of Battle Los Angeles and Transformers and brutally mashed them together. Yes. Because I don't know if you could tell, but the visual aesthetic and- And I actually like Battlefield Los Angeles. I don't like the dialogue in Battlefield Los Angeles. Directing style of this movie is just Michael Bay light. And yeah. that faux bayness trickles down to the very core of this film. And they don't just copy Michael Bay, but other directors of the time, too. Like, say, just throw some J.J. Abrams in there as well. This is what's popular, right? I truly saved the show! Yeah. It's like the worst elements of this period in time were chucked into a blender, and this was the concoction. So the best way to show this is through visual presentation. Okay. One, lens flares. So many lens Everywhere. flares. Everywhere. In fact, half of the time, what even is happening? <laughs> is this just a cover up for the shoddy CGI? Two, yes. emulating Michael Bay. Bay's style only worked for like <laughs> three movies. Nobody should ever try to reproduce it. Right. Three, the absolute over reliance on CGI. Right. A video essayist talking about how bad CGI is? What will they think of next? Four, whatever the hell this shot is. What is this? I don't I've, know. I've literally never seen a blockbuster ever do this. That's not how that works. Yeah, so those are the visual issues. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more, but I'm trying to condense this. The overall aesthetic of Battleship 2012 is that of a mobile game ad. Like, this kind of looks cool, but you know the real visuals of the game are, are not going to look like this. Right. I don't know, should I talk about the story or characters? No, I, know, I guess just I should. leave it. It's just draining looking at this for too long. Right. You know? How about we take a break and we'll all come back nice and refreshed. Okay. <laughs> hey, have you been in the Israeli army? No. <laughs> what? 
How'd you no. get out of that? Are you a draft dodger? Ah. Uh, How old are you? How old are you? 25. You gotta join the army, motherfucker. Yes. Yes. So I actually remember this. Around the, the 2010s, and the dumbest. it was often peddled in pop science fiction blogs that when aliens ever meet humanity, it would be like Columbus meeting the natives. As in, you know, not good. No. And you just know that the screenwriter that wrote this saw that line and thought, man, it sure would be deep to include this. If there is intelligent life out there and they come here, it's going to be like Columbus and the Indians. Even though this is the one... That was a quote for Stephen Hawking, by the way. And nobody who wrote this... The entire script writing cadre that wrote this doesn't even equal up to half the IQ of Stephen Hawking, okay? Alien invasion story, where that line is not applicable at all. Independence Day? Sure. Yes. War of the Worlds? Also sure. But the aliens in Battleship are the nicest invaders ever. Yes. As you see, they actively go out of their way to make sure that the main characters are never harmed whatsoever. Right. Nobody in the main cast actually dies, except for, you know. Yeah. They only attack when human guns are literally pointed right, right at them. And they don't even go after actual humans. They just go after weapons. I got a bad feeling about this. What kind of bad feeling? Like we're gonna need a new planet. Kind of bad feeling. That was such a bad okay. line. What are you talking about? They could have just killed you all right then yeah. and there, and instead decided to leave. I've seen people interpret the aliens not being overly violent in this movie as them actually being good. Yep. That this entire movie was simply started over. It looks so bad. It looks so bad. Over a miscommunication. And my response to that is no. They're <laughs> just written badly. The movie seems to switch on a whim when the aliens will and won't use violence. And they have no qualms just killing side characters. Right. Yeah, this was never explained. Say even if the aliens were secretly good and this was a misunderstanding, then why even bring up the Columbus allegory in the first place? If there is intelligent life out there and they come here, it's... Shut up! ...gonna be like Columbus and the Indians. Only we're the Indians. What are you trying to say, movie? Are you saying the Spanish only attacked the natives through misunderstanding? You know, in some ways, let's compare this to Battle Los Angeles. Right. Those aliens were designed to be fought by a specific branch of the U.S. military. Right. With small squad-based raiders that were perfect for Marines to deal with. The aliens in Battleship aren't simply designed to be fought by the U.S. Navy. They were designed to be fought in an adaptation of a board game. Right. Every aspect of the way these aliens acted and were designed was for them to be easily destroyed by warships blindly firing like in the game. Their ships, despite coming from space, don't fly. I have n My brain started hemorrhaging when I saw this the first time. They hop on the water like dolphins. Right. They don't use lasers or any sci-fi. And do you realize how much more effort it would take to make a vessel that did what those things did instead of one that just actually flew? weaponry that can't be deflected by a modern warship. They lob big shells, which can be easily dodged by a ship from World War II. Right. Which brings up the biggest question. Why aliens in the first place? Well, it's simple, really. Marketability. Right. This movie was an attempt to please as much of the general audience as possible. World War II? That's too historical. Ships fighting in the modern day? Well, that'd be too political. Right. So the best next thing was chosen. An enemy that would cause no controversy whatsoever. Aliens. Yes. But even though some believe the aliens were good, we know the main reason why some of you may like this film to this very day. The battleship is awesome, guys. You can't argue that. <laughs> okay, there was so much wrong with that, okay? There were so many things wrong with that movie that in order to even get through it, I had to shut my brain off 
just completely unplug the cable from brain one and just sit there and watch the pretty visuals. Because in no way, shape, or form, was it was so bad. It was... Okay. First of all, it's really hard to get into the military as enlisted if you have a felony charge, which that guy most certainly had for breaking it into a convenience store for no reason. It's also, also equally hard to punch, to, to get into a fight with another, um, another nation's like anything and not have it turn into a massive issue. It's also, 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 oh my God, there, there, there's so many glaring problems with this and so many annoyances that I had with it that it just made me want to chew glass when I was sitting there watching it. It's like, why? Why is everybody behaving so abnormally stupid in this? The biggest one for me was how close the ships were at the time of engagement. Okay, when that first engagement happened between the, um, between the Navy and the alien ships, th like, th that's not... That's not even knife fighting range. That's point blank. Like, that is point blank range for 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 any ship in this era right now. Much less the battleship at the end. That thing was barely 200 yards off launching ordnance. It's like, no, I'm sorry. It's called Over the Horizon for a reason. In any case, I'm shutting up because I hate that movie. From a practical standpoint, but the battleship is cool. Because battleships are cool. But that anchor drop scene made me, like, that anchor drop scene made me want to headbutt a wall. Okay? In any case, I'm shutting up. How dare you, Eagle, for reminding me of this abomination. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm going to put in all the pointless hubs, uh, links in the description down below. It's right next to my own. Right next to the Discord, my Patreon, merch, all that kind of stuff. I'll... Oh my god, I will catch you guys next time. Eagle, I'm not forgiving you for this.